Mike, talk about ending that three-game skid for you guys. What's that feel like? Yeah, it feels really good to get a win, you know. Um, that was a tough month, but, uh, you know, wasn't the best win, but, you know, a win's a win. We'll take it, you know, and uh, it was, felt really good in the locker room after. You know, defense played really well. O-line played well. Receivers made plays when we had to, and uh, in the end, that ended up being the difference. So. How did you kind of keep your composure there, Mike, when you fumbled the snap and, and <laughs> still hit Jalen? Um, yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to be a good play pre-snap and then fumbled the snap, but, um, you know, just p picked it up and knew he was going to be open, so gave him a chance and he made a great play. For you personally, the relief of getting the first win as a starter, what, what's going through your mind on that? I mean, it's good, but, you know, um, I mean, it's just one game. Got to look forward to next week with West Virginia, just focus on beating them, you know. They're a good team. I don't know if they beat Texas or not, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So, you know, just got to take it one game at a time. What do you think of uh, your two senior receivers, Jalen Austin and Jarrison Stewart, came up with some big catches yeah, today. Yeah. Can you talk about the way they played? You know, I know they're just, like, reliable guys. You know, they've played in a lot of big games um, for us. And, uh, you know, I know if I throw them the ball, they're going to make the catch, come down with it. So, you know, if it's ever, like, a situation like that, I'm looking for them. Third down, third and long, you know, when we need to convert, they got it. With all the injuries and, and some of the other stuff going on around this team, did it feel, feel like the football gods finally kind of smiled on you guys with the – <laughs> Makes extra point for them and, and things yeah, of that nature. Yeah, I mean, I was a little lucky, but, um, you know, got to give credit to the defense. They, uh, you know, they wore them down a lot. I think they made it really tough for them to get, you know, every yard. And, um, you know, defense just really played really well. Um, but, yeah, it was really good to get a win. <laughs> Do you have any concern about getting the ball far enough downfield going into the wind there on the past? Yeah, you know, it was swirling a little bit and there was some gusts, but, um, you know, nothing I can control. So just got to focus on, you know, getting the ball downfield. and giving our guys a chance. You and uh, Jalen seem to have built a, a good connection. On, on the first half, it seemed like you guys maybe had a couple miscommunications. Mm -hmm. Did y'all talk about uh, yeah, you know, getting that better at halftime? Yeah, out and everything. You know, he's a really good player. You know, he's a freak athlete. You know, he can go up and get, get the ball in any situation. So um, anytime I can give him the ball, I'm just going to try and give it to him, you know, because anytime he touches it, he can score. So, yeah, he's a really good guy. You know. so, I mean, do you like just giving your receivers opportunities to make plays like on that and even, you know, a couple of weeks ago to John Stevens down the sideline. It seems yeah. like you're yeah. I mean just give give our playmakers the ball. That's all my job is really, you know. Yeah. Don't turn it over and give them the ball. So when you got on, on that second drive you, when you guys recovered the fumbled punt and you went under center, did you feel like that play was gonna work? Being that's probably the first time y'all have been under center, it seems yeah. like the whole yeah. year. Um I think it was like the second or third time we've done it uh, under center. But we, usually when I've done that, we've faked it and then I've ran out to the right. And last week, Kansas covered that. But um, this week, you know, I, we broke our tendency and pitched at the jet and it was wide open. So, yeah, I thought we had a good chance on it. Mike, going to West Virginia next Saturday. I, I don't know if your family's been able to come to any games yet or will this kind of be the first opportunity for them to really watch Yeah, you my start? parents have been able to do it a few times. Um, but, um, you know, I mean, still. West Virginia's not that close to Connecticut either. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like an eight-hour drive, I guess. So yeah, it's yeah, the closest closer. we'll get to the East Coast. So I guess, yeah, I'll have some people coming down. So it'll yeah. be good. What do you expect from Will Greer and all those guys going into that game and that uh, environment next week? Expect it to be a tough game, you know, just like this one. You know, we got to go in and we got to execute. Um, can't give them anything. It's, not, it's You know, that's what I expect going forward. Just, you know, they're a pretty good team. I know they're... Ranked, I don't know where they are. 13. 13, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a really good game, really good team. So just got to be ready to play.